Hello and welcome back to another fabulous video about the United States Constitution, specifically the First Amendment. So this video is going to be focusing on the application of the third clause, speech, second clause, depending on how you look at it, um, the section dealing with freedom of the press in the First Amendment. So whenever we're talking about freedom of the press, we're talking about the ability of the press or the media to publish information without the government telling them what they can or can't publish. OK, if you ever hear on the news or on social media of a state supported press or a state run press, that means that before information is disseminated or sent out to uh, the media, the government basically says you can publish this, but you can't publish this. OK, so whenever we hear of a state run media or a state supported media, that typically tells us that there's not a lot of transparency. And basically, the government's just sharing whatever it wants to, um, probably doesn't um, share everything with the people. OK, so freedom of the press, super important. So when, if ever, do you think the press should be censored? OK, and that term censorship means that you can publish some stuff, but you can't publish other stuff. OK, so is there any time that you can think of where the press might need to be censored? According to the good old Supreme Court, if the issue or if the content that the press is trying to release is an issue or detrimental to national security, then they think that the government can censor or can prevent certain information from being shared. And that's called prior restraint, okay? Um, that happens only really in issues dealing with national security. So like if you're gonna publish something dealing with um, the nuclear codes, that's probably not going to be something the government lets you publish, okay? Because that would be um, a, a, a problem potentially with national security. We also have the use of gag orders when it comes to freedom of the press. So if you are involved in a lawsuit, okay, and there's a whole bunch of information swirling around about you, um, and that could potentially incriminate you before your trial is complete, then the judge or, um, well, basically the judge would be able to issue a gag order which would prevent people from talking about what's going on in your case and also prevent people from publishing stuff about what's going on in your case until after your case has concluded. And the Supreme Court has basically told us that the right to freedom of the press is super important, but it's not as important as an individual's right to a fair trial. OK, so that is it for this video. If you guys have any questions, you know what I'm going to say. Let me know.